Buenos días, Novis. Bienvenido a Bodega Gigua. Good day. Today I am at the Bodegas Giguan in Tinajo, at the northeast rim of the Giguan. In this place, something really incredible happened in the 18th century during volcano eruptions. On April 16th in 1736, the village people went in a procession towards the lava masses carrying with them the statue of the Virgen de las Dolores, the Virgin of Pains. Thereupon, the red-hot stream stopped at the Montaña de Giguan. In 1824, the last volcano eruption so far, the Virgin and the Giguan saved the village again. The three brothers, Antonio, Martial, Miguel and his son, Oliver, are now the third generation of the bodega's owners. After the volcano eruptions in the 18th and 19th centuries, the Lanzarote viticulture has been perfected in a unique way, despite the difficult conditions. The single vines are growing separately in single craters that are protected by walls. The craters are up to three meters deep and filled with volcanic ashes, the pecan. It heats up during the day, and during the night it absorbs the moisture from the air. Thus, sufficient water for the vines can be retained, and even though there is very few rain here, they yield a good crop. The vines of Bodega Giguan are mostly situated in the surroundings of Tinajo. In this place, three-thirds of the Lanzarote wine is grown on land protected by walls. These plants grow on pecan, too and are irrigated in the way described earlier. Here the vines can stand nearer to each other. Thus, six to eight thousand kilograms of grapes are growing on one hectare, while in La Geria, with its single craters, it is only two to four thousand kilograms. Grape harvest can only be done by hand. All twenty members of the family are helping from July until September. Most of the wine comes from family-owned land. Additional wine is bought only on occasion. The Giguan wines are young wines. In steel tanks, the wines are fermented on several levels at decreasing temperatures, so that the wine's natural freshness is kept. In these oak barrels, the Vino Tinto and the Malvasia Volcanica attain their final ripe. Dry Malvasia is made from hand-picked grapes with optimal ripe. Its taste is of good acidity, fresh, smooth, friendly, and holds a touch of youth. Listan Negro has a fruity taste of red fruits like raspberries. It is eminently suitable along with grilled meat. Sweet Moscatel attains its final ripe in oak barrels. It is sweet and fresh at the same time. Balanced, long, and aromatic. Malvasia is semi-sweet and has a balanced, long taste of jasmine and orange blossoms. Rosado is clear, light rose and has a fresh taste of conifers. Thanks to the family for the invitation and a good time for all of you.